the Prince and Princess of Wales have been captured in a rare snapshot during an unexpected stay at a local B&B. In April 2023, William and Kate embarked on a two-day Welsh tour, visiting the Central Beacons Mountain Rescue Team headquarters in Merthyrchidville, where they abseiled and took part in simulated rescue operations. Their itinerary included an overnight stay, as the following day was marked by a poignant trip to Aberfan to honor those lost in the devastating 1966 mining disaster. At that time, it was disclosed that the royal couple would be spending the night at a B&B, reports The Mirror. Now, a year later, Dufferin Mar Country House, nestled on the fringes of the Brecon Beacons National Park, has celebrated their visit by posting a photo on social media showing William and Kate with the establishment's staff. On Facebook, the B&B expressed their delight, it's been one year since we welcomed William and Kate, the Prince and Princess of Wales, to Dufferin Mark. We were delighted to welcome William and Kate for a night here when they visited the Brecon Beacons. So kind and friendly, it was a pleasure to have them stay here. This historic 500-year-old residence, which can accommodate up to 16 guests and is also used as a wedding venue, comes with a hefty £900 per night price tag. It features a grand 40-feet kitchen, billiard room, bar, gym, spaces for yoga and relaxation, and a spa complete with a steam room and hot tub. Kate has been absent from royal engagements since the start of the year following major abdominal surgery and a subsequent cancer diagnosis. In a heartfelt statement in March, she expressed that her work brought her a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I am able and emphasize the need to focus on making a full recovery while requesting some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. Last week, it was revealed that the princess had read and been briefed on a new report by her Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood about how businesses can support the early years development of children. Kensington Palace stressed that despite being informed of the report's findings, the princess had not returned to work. Daily Mail's Richard Eden speculated on the Duchess's potential comeback, noting in his column, she has not undertaken any public engagements this year and friends I spoke to in the past few days suggest we might not see Catherine again until the autumn and only then if she has recovered fully. A source told him, no one wants to put any pressure on Catherine. The only thing that matters at the moment is her getting better. She has been through an ordeal this year. While Kate has been unable to fulfill her public duties for some months due to her recovery, Prince William has dutifully been attending engagements. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. It's during these public appearances that the heir to the throne has given encouraging updates about his wife. During a visit last month to a suicide prevention charity in Newcastle, he interacted with various supporters. One of them, Julie Kane, aged 60, queried, Do you mind if I ask how your wife and children are? To which Prince William responded warmly, 
all doing well, thank you. Yes, we're doing well, 